Hello, I'm Alderman Mark Fielding, Mayor of Coswick Coast and Glens Borough Council. Thank you for joining me here at Benbrada Mountain in the stunning Sperrins area of outstanding natural beauty. Overlooking the given at the gateway to the Glenshain Pass and just a short climb along the old American road. This iconic location provides some of the finest views in Northern Ireland, taking in the southern Sperrins and the hills and valleys of distant Donegal. The second most northerly summit in the Sperrins, Benbrada, rises to 465 metres. It's a favourite spot for paragliders and hang gliders and is a beautiful place to experience and explore. And I am here to speak to you about the future of the special area. Following the Sperrins Future Search Conference held in 2017, Key stakeholders came together to create an action plan, summed up in the words, reaching new heights, realising our potential. Initiated by the four local councils responsible for the area, the event aimed to agree a common mission to take responsibility for clear action and to develop a shared commitment to implement change. Participants represented a wide range of stakeholder groups including the local community, young people, landowners and farmers, government departments, statutory agencies and elected representatives, along those involved in tourism, heritage and environment, outdoor recreation and business. There is a real opportunity to capitalise on what already exists within the Spurns and as Mayor of Causeway Coast and Glens Borough Council, it gives me great pleasure to endorse the Spurns future search reports and action plans. I would like to wish the Sperrins Partnership Project every success as it prepares to deliver on its vision. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today in the beautiful Gorchin Glen Forest Park in South Sperrins, located six miles north of Oma in the western gateway to the Sperrin Mountains. This beautiful forest truly has something for everyone, offering a destination play park, five walking trails to suit all abilities and has recently had 13 kilometres of mountain bike trails added to its visitor offering. Part of the Inter International Appalachian Trail and Ulster Way also traverses this huge forest. In addition to the destination play park, walking and mountain bike trails, there is also a five mile long scenic drive which offers some truly magnificent views of County Tyrone and the Greater Sperrins region. As Chair of Fermanagh and Oma District Council, I am delighted to endorse the Sperrins Future Search Report and Action Plans, which aim to address the issues facing the region in terms of the environment, tourism, rural economy and heritage. Gorch and Glen Forest Park is one of the many attractions available for you to explore within the Sperrins. Fermanagh and Oma District Council is committed to working in partnership with other key stakeholders to deliver projects which add value to the lives of the people of the district and I would like to take this opportunity to wish the Sperrins Partnership Project every success as we work towards delivery of the action plans associated with the Sperrins Future Search Report. Thank you. Hello, I'm Councillor Cahill Malahan, Chair of Mid Ulster District Council, one of the local authorities involved in this Sperns partnership. And we're here in Dava Forest in the East Sperns, and like many parts of this mountain range, this unique, untouched and largely undiscovered landscape. The untapped potential of the Sperns as a visitor destination is something we and our partners would like to address, and in Mid Ulster we have already made progress. Dava is home to some of the best mountain bike trails anywhere in Ireland, and now is also the location for the new Alm Dark Sky Park and Observatory. The opening of Alm may have been delayed by the pandemic, but the dark skies which inspired it and give clear views of the galaxy of stars at night are still here and we're looking forward to welcoming more visitors to enjoy Alm experience when we do open, hopefully in the not too distant future. While we wait, our work continues. A new solar walking trail is in the making which will link our new observatory to what many people believe was the first one. Built by an ancient people at Big Moor Stone Circles and will reveal more of this area's rich archaeology with the development of a second trail here connecting another large stone circle with what is known locally as the Big Man's Grave, a Bronze Age tomb. In all that we do, we're seeking to balance the enhancement of sustainable tourism with the protection of natural environment and a community's way of life. 
That is at the heart of everything the Sparings Partnership project seeks to achieve as it now begins to deliver against a visionary action plan and realise the huge potential of the Sparings. Hello everyone, I am Councillor Brian Tierney, the Mayor of Derry City and Stavant District Council and it gives me great pleasure to talk to you today about the Sparings Partnership project which has been in fruition for a number of years and I'm delighted to say that we have reached the stage that we can officially launch the Sparings Future Search Report in cooperation with all of our partner councils Mid Ulster District Council, Causeway Coast and Glens Borough Council and Fermanagh Noma District Council along with all of our other key stakeholders. The vision of the Sparrows hasn't truly been realised yet and I believe that the Sparrow Partnership Project will enable development of a successful and prosperous region focusing with in key areas of heritage, community, infrastructure and tourism which have all been outlined in the plan. I believe that great things can be achieved in the Sparrows by working together in partnership. I'm here today in the stunning setting of the Glen Ellie Valley at the heart of the Sparrows where we have already began working in partnership with all of our strategic tourism partners to deliver on our future search pr promise. The be this beautiful valley which has been carved out during the ice ages sits at the heart of the International Appalachian Trail Ulster Ireland project. Investment of over £700,000 has been secured to ensure that 300 miles of cross-border walking trails which stretches from west coast Donegal to the north coast and on to mid and east Antrim while travelling through the magnificent Sparrow region. Once completed, the newly enhanced route will offer additional opportunity to promote the natural beauty and cultural heritage of this region while increasing visitor footfall right across the Sparrows. In addition, three of the Sparrows councils, Derry and Straban, Fermanagh and Oma and Mid Ulster are advancing the Sparrows Sculptural Trail Tourism Initiative. In excess of £2 million has been secured to deliver the installation of three iconic artworks at key sites here in the Glen Ellie Valley one at Dava Forest and one overlooking Gorchen Forest. Commissioned pieces will, pieces will reflect the rich culture and natural heritage of this region, highlighting this area of outstanding natural beauty for further exploration. It therefore gives me great pleasure to officially launch and endorse the Sparrows Future Search Report along with all of the action plans in partnership with all of the councils right across the Sparrows area. A lot of time and commitment has gone into this in getting these action plans ready and out for delivery. And I think this is a project which we can all uh, will all benefit from and can all be excited from. For more information, I would encourage everyone to visit the, the website at www.sparingspartnershipproject.com. Thank you.